Hi students. So we're on over six weeks of Safer at Home now. And one of the things that's gone far downhill in my household is the quality of our snacks. They're just not so helpful anymore. I'll tell you what, Doritos, Easter candy, big chunks of baguette and homemade sourdough bread and pizza, they're delicious, but they're not so great for your body. And right now we need to make sure that we keep our body fueled and ready to learn and ready to exercise and have fun and get back to normal, which we're gonna be doing hopefully real soon, right? So today I thought I'd show you how to make some quick, healthy, easy snacks that you can do. Some of them you don't even have to tell your parents. You can just go into the kitchen and do them on your own. So I'm gonna show you these. I want you to keep in mind a couple of things. One, when you're using a knife, make sure you use your bear claw and I'll go over that. And then also if you're gonna use any kind of heating Microwave, stove, unless you're allowed to do that freely, you must ask your parents before you do that. So I'm gonna adjust my camera down so you can see what I'm doing. All right, I'm about to make snacks for my kids' breaks because they're about to be on a break. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a kind of toast that has avocado and cheese, which is pretty darn good. So I've got some sourdough bread, which if I'm being honest, is about a couple days probably gonna go old and we don't want that. I'm gonna take the sourdough bread and I'm gonna grab a sheet tray and I'm gonna put it on a tray and put just a little bit of olive oil on it. Tiny bit, tiny bit. Okay, there we go, there we go. There we go. <clears throat> and a little cheese, yum. Okay, and I'm gonna put cheese on the toast, on the toast. You can use whatever kind of cheese you want you have in your refrigerator. It doesn't have to be cheddar. This just happens to be cheddar because we hoarded a lot of cheddar cheese for tacos and all sorts of quesadillas and things we know that our, our family likes. So, And then I'm going to put it in the oven. Just a couple minutes, my top oven runs really hot. Now while I'm doing that, I'm going to slice open this avocado and see how I'm using my bear claw. Bear claw. I'm going to slice open the avocado this way. <clears throat> And I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna hold it in my, not in my hand because you could cut, if you hold this way, you can cut straight into your hand. And I've been in the emergency room a few times for various things and they say that's one of the number one things people do is they cut straight like this with bagels and avocados. So we're gonna hold it on our side and we're gonna slice a few slices this way and then scoop them out. Okay, so they're ready. And these will go on top of the cheesy bread. I don't want to cook the avocado because avocado can turn brown and it's not very appealing when you do it that way. A couple more here, okay. And so that's all ready to go. I'm gonna take the rest of the avocado and I'm gonna make a poor man's guacamole. So this is what my parents used to make when I was growing up and it's a good use of your avocados that are almost ripe. These avocados that I have here are almost ripe. In fact, this one might be a little too ripe. So I'm gonna put it, all of the avocado in there. I'm gonna squeeze it in. That one came out really easily because there's, it's just ready to eat. And I'm gonna smash it up. See, I'm just using a simple fork, super easy. This is, my parents don't really like to cook. And so this is something that they used to do. They didn't, when I make guacamole, I make it chop onions and I, chop cilantro and all that. Well, I don't have all that stuff because I'm safer at home and I haven't been going to the grocery store all that often. So I just use a little bit of old picante sauce and make a delicious dip. And I will tell you, my son will tell you this is one of the best dips he's ever eaten in his life. So I'm going to put this in a bowl over here. Sorry, you can't see everything. It's not that wide. There we go. Our bowl of guacamole. And I'm gonna stick that in there to keep it nice until it's ready to go. Okay, so I think probably now I'm gonna do the remainder of the toast, which is grabbing it out of the oven. My oven cooks very quickly. And I'm gonna put some of this avocado on these toasts. And I'm gonna leave some with that avocado because by the way, cheese, toast, there's a healthy snack. Okay, and I'm going to 
with these toasts on my tray. I've got a tray up here, which I'll show you in a minute. Okay, now I'm done with the avocado. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make bananas with peanut butter because they're sweet and delicious and bananas are such a good source of potassium, which your body needs really badly. And they're even better with just a little peanut butter. This is a trick that I learned from my sister-in-law. So smart, easy, right? Grab a spoon, put it in the peanut butter, and there we go. See, I'm just taking the peanut butter, spooning it on. That's what it looks like. So, so easy, okay? Got my bananas, yummers. And you know, there's so much to do with bananas, so maybe we'll get into a little bit more of that because bananas go bad really fast. I don't know about you guys, but in my household they do. And oftentimes I feel like, well, <clears throat> I'd like to do something with those bananas because I really don't want to waste them. Okay, here's the third thing I'm gonna do. This is an easy one, and particularly if you're gluten-free, you might want this because with the chips and the guacamole, we're gonna probably eat that with some chips, right? But you can just have a little piece of cucumber and a little bit of cheese. I like a real salty cheese. This happens to be a, a, a um, Parmesan cheese, um, which is really good, but it doesn't have to be that cheese. It can be whatever cheese you want that's salty. Okay, another thing you can do, this is an easy one guys, is a little bit of a turkey roll up. I just put some turkey in here and I roll it up in some American cheese. Good old pig in a blanket, right? It's like a little flute, I'm gonna put that over here. And I've got another one because I have two kids and they might both want one. Okay, all right, we got that. And then lastly, but certainly not least, I'm gonna take my carrot. Now, see, I already peeled my carrot. <clears throat> I've got some carrots and I've got a couple pieces of celery here and I'm gonna cut them long ways in a little smaller pieces so they're good for dipping. Okay, this isn't going to be a julienne. A julienne, we know we did that. It's a very small cut. It's kind of like this, but not quite. I'm going to cut this. So now I have some carrots and some celery. And I'm going to grab my ranch dressing. Good old ranch dressing. Remember that? Yep. Throw some ranch dressing in a bowl. And I've got a delicious crudité dip. Okay, so I'm going to put that on my tray right here and then I'm gonna bring my tray to show you see all these delicious dips when you're ready you can remove the avocado pit grab some chips and you'll be ready to eat all right so take the healthy challenge make a healthful snack eat it let me know how it goes good luck now I want you guys to take the healthy snack challenge so go to my seesaw lesson Check out the ingredients for various healthy snacks and what to include, and either make one of the ones that I just showed you how to make in this video, or check out the link that I included, and there's some other ideas to help you brainstorm. But make a healthy snack, take a photo, include it in the Seesaw link, or draw a picture, and I can't wait to see what you make, guys.